Hello, this is Brian with the Instructional Technology Coordinator team here in the School District of Waukesha. And in this video, we're going to look at the new feature, new as of fall of 2020 at least, uh, where we are able to add shortcuts to documents so that we can more easily find resources we might need to access in Google Drive in the folders that we want to find them in without changing that file location for everybody. This is probably best shown through example. So I'm going to jump over to my student account here. My student account has a folder called student folder for storing documents. And I want to share some things from my student folder for storing documents with uh, a teacher account as well. So what you'll notice first is that in my sharing of this folder, I've given my teacher account view only access. I don't want my teacher account to edit anything or make changes. I don't want them to, to uh, own it. I just want them to view it. So they're set to viewer. I've now shared that with my teacher account. So let's move over to my teacher account. I see my student folder for storing documents. And I'd really like to place those files into a folder that I've created called teacher folder for storing documents. So I'm going to open up my student folder for storing documents. I see those files there. I select across them, move them to teacher folder for storing documents, and it says adding four shortcuts. So for the very longest time, Google, when you shared something with somebody else, would constantly have this battle of where those files lived. I'd move them into a folder, other people would lose access to them, they'd move them back. And so Google has now come up with a solution they call shortcuts. Shortcuts, and I'm going to go into my teacher folder for storing documents, look like this. The key icon is this little arrow over the top of the slides icon or the uh, Google Docs icon. That means that it's pointing back to the original document. Google got smart and decided they no longer wanted to host eight copies of the same document. So they're allowing us to use shortcuts so that we can find them in the folders where we want them without having to have many copies of the document, which can cause its own issue. If I were to click on student doc one, you would see in my student account should show up here as we're used to Google Docs doing, even though the link is to the shortcut. Again, shortcuts send you back to the original document. So now you can see, because I have view-only access, I can place these files inside of my teacher folder for storing documents, but they stay in the student folder for storing documents. Now, if I were to give my teacher greater access and move them over to editor, the teacher would then be able to move all of the documents out of one folder and put them into another folder. They would be prompted that they're moving them for everybody, and that little arrow icon wouldn't show up. So when you are given viewer access, that's when you're able to make moves of an entire folder over to another one and get that shortcut link. What if I want student doc one to show up in another of my own folders? So I have edit access on this. I'm going to right click on it, add to shortcut drive, tell it where I'd like it to go. We're going to put it in explore test prep, add the shortcut. And when I go into my own drive, explore test prep, you can see that you've got that shortcut available. Now I've done this once already, so it introduces the last challenge of this. If you have more than one shortcut of the same document in a folder, that's because you've repeated dragging this file or sending this shortcut into this folder more than once. Shortcuts are just links, so it's the same as having multiple links inside of a folder. What I'm going to do in this case is get rid of them, trash them, delete them. I'm not doing this to the original file, I'm doing this to my shortcuts. So when I click remove, it removes them from my shortcuts, but let's go and make sure my original still stays intact. Now, if I remove this one, my original, 
and send that to the trash, that will remove it for everybody. The shortcut will be gone and the original will be gone. Hopefully this is starting to make sense how you can use this to your advantage and also understand why you're seeing this new icon within your Google Drive.